Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GTX 1660 Ti in Watch Dogs 2. I am running it with Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM, but you don't need this CPU if you don't want to bottleneck the 1660 Ti. Something like a Ryzen 5 2600 is absolutely enough to run this game properly with this GPU. Going over to the settings, I'm going to be playing here at 1920x1080 as well as 2560x1440 and the quality quality over here I'm playing at high settings I'm also going to be testing very high and ultra settings always without the motion blur because I hate the motion blur okay so here we go you can see that the CPU utilization is going above 50% a lot of times so if you have an 8 threaded CPU you might be CPU bound here in this game uh, I remember playing this one with a Ryzen 7 uh, 1700 and it ran pretty well on a 1060 or RX 570 whatever I tested back in the days you know it was like a year ago uh, that CPU was absolutely enough for 60 plus FPS so that's why I'm saying that if you want a 60 plus FPS experience and if you want to get pretty much these averages that we're getting right here you only need something like the Ryzen 5 2600 the 3300X is a very compelling option I know uh, but due to the fact that it only has eight threads on the CPU, I think it will just struggle a little bit. You know, oh god, I just almost exploded my own car. <laughs> All right, anyways, what, what, what? Okay then. Well, it's my new hack, by the way. I can actually control cars, as you can see. Yeah, that's very, very nice and uh, entertaining. I think uh, GPU utilization is not maxed out, which I find interesting. Again, we're still mostly GPU bound, and I still do think that an overclocked Ryzen 5 2600 will do just as well as the 3700X here, because it won't really be maxed out, and the 1% lows will still be above. 60 FPS. I forgot to mention that when I tested this game with the Ryzen 7 1700, it was actually overclocked to 3.7 gigahertz. Not a really big overclock. Those chips can actually go to uh, 4 gigahertz, if I'm not mistaken. Most of them, or 3.8, 3.9 and um well that's that's it guys uh 80 fps on average 65 1 percent lows it's mostly gpu bound over here you just need to make sure that your cpu has more than eight threads otherwise you will be cpu limited all right i restarted the game here we're playing at 1080p still with the very high settings this time around i'm just gonna disable this right here and uh all right uh, do i need to show you the entire settings menu i'm gonna do that just in case if you want to see it right there we go these are the very high settings without motion blur. And um, I think the 1% lows are probably going to drop from 60 FPS. Oh, hello, ladies. What are you doing just dancing around this car? What if I just do this? Well, it's kind of... Uh, oh, okay. Well, I am so sorry. I, I hope I didn't kill anyone. Yeah, they, they're just sleeping, right, guys? They're just sleeping. So I wanted a, a little bit better of a car than this. Maybe I shouldn't have done... That. What the... What is going on right there? Neutralize. Uh, y you know what? Let's ride this bike right here. I'm gonna try to. What? Who the heck is this guy? What is happening right now? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, hello, buddy. Y you you know that that you're just gonna stop, right? You you just y what? I didn't. I did not do anything. I I was just reading what things I could do. But I guess I'm just gonna go with this car right here. It's a little bit messed up. And maybe, yeah, it's it doesn't work, so uh, never mind, guys. <laughs> okay, let's do our little run. Apparently, I already exploded this, but I don't remember that. 60, 59 FPS there. Oh my god! Don't die, dude. Thank you very much for not dying on me. Um, I think the police there died, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, they're probably sleeping as well, you know. <clears throat> Alright, let's start exploding more things. So, I think... I think this is still a very playable experience, especially because the game is a single player title, you don't really need 60 plus FPS all of the time, although we're still getting 60 plus FPS like 95% of the time I would say, 1% lows are at 57, this is still extremely smooth and an extremely good experience here, the game doesn't stutter whatsoever by the way, if you are having stuttering issues in this one, it might be because you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, I don't really recommend recommend you to play this game with 8 gigabytes maybe just upgrade it to uh, 12 if you have a, a GPU like the 1660 Ti it's not too bad because the, the V 
DRAM is not maxed out, so you might get away with 8 gigabytes of RAM, but if you have like a 2 gigabyte GPU and want to play this game on high or very high settings, uh, you're gonna be VRAM limited, so the textures offload to the RAM and the RAM utilization will be higher, so the game will start stuttering a little bit more. Alright, anyways, we're approaching the end of the benchmark run, let's go to the water. Oh yes, okay, there we go, I'm not dead, it, it actually stuttered a little bit as we hit the hot, the water there, but um, yeah, it's, it's still good. And finally, we are at the Ultra Settings preset, as you can see right here, I'm just gonna disable this, okay, there we go, 1080p resolution still, and uh, I guess it's still gonna be playable, but there's a massive FPS drop coming from very high to Ultra Settings, VRAM is also a little bit higher higher right there, almost at 5 gigabytes, RAM utilization went up by like 200, 300 megabytes, and uh, I'm just gonna, you know what, uh, electrify someone if I can, I can't really, yeah, alright, well, never mind then, I'm just gonna get inside of your car, buddy, get out of here. Get out of here, boy! <laughs> so don't mess around with me, I'm just stealing your car. Thank you very much. Sorry, dude. I didn't really mean to, it's just the FPS, you know? So, if you want to play on ultra settings, I guess it's still gonna be a playable experience. As you can see, even with the explosions and going into the uh, smoke effects and stuff like that, it doesn't really drop too much from 40 FPS. Uh, yeah, this is still great, guys. Uh, I, I was kind of expecting... The, these results because after all the 1660 Ti performs like a 1070 the 1070 was a beastly card when this game came out uh, we saw a couple of stutters already by the way which weren't really present at lower presets but maybe they were just one-offs uh, not really game breaking as you can see most of the time it's a very smooth and pleasant experience and if you want to enjoy the maximum visuals in this game uh, at least on the preset settings uh, well, it's it runs well. 45 FPS on average is very very nice for a single player title, and uh, you're probably aware of that. You know, if you have a 60 hertz monitor, this is really really nice still, especially a G-Sync monitor. You know, on laptops and stuff like that. So laptops will, by the way, perform slightly slower because the GPU isn't as fast as the desktop versions. Uh, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. You're still gonna have an extremely pleasant experience with a laptop and the 1660 Ti. And here we go, so wow, holy, okay, this is still a very nice experience here. If you have a 1440p monitor, uh, I guess play on high settings because from what we've seen so far, from those like three seconds, it's it's extremely good, okay? So let's start counting our FPS right here. Yeah, it's right around 60. This is amazing. Oh my god. And now I can finally see what high settings are supposed to look like because my monitor is 1440p and whenever I'm playing at 1080p and testing games at 1080p, well, it's not native resolution so it's a little bit blurry and let me tell you guys that high settings does look Pretty damn good here. I will have zero problems playing with the 1660 Ti at high at 1440p. If you want this experience, it's not a 60 plus experience all of the time. For that, you'd probably need to lower it to medium settings, but it's still very playable. So I'm just gonna roll with it. It's right around 60 FPS on average right now. So that's that's still amazing. If you find yourself with a 1440p monitor and a 1660 Ti and are wondering if Watch Dogs 2 uh, will run on your PC, PC, well, you know what? Just give it a try. Install it. You're also probably here because you, you got this game for free, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> Have fun playing it. My friend Franks is actually playing through the game right now. He says it's pretty good. I can't really play through the game because I don't really have time to do it because I'm always benchmarking GPUs. But anyways, that's not the point. Uh, it runs really well. You're gonna have fun with it. And uh, that's all that matters here. Right, guys? so sorry buddy I, I don't really want to kill anybody but you know this game is just fun sometimes uh, right there we go 
All right, 1440p, very high settings across the board right now. Let's disable motion blur and look at this, guys. It still looks really decent. Really decent. It looks really good, guys, this game, I think, in my opinion, at least. But yeah, let's start counting our FPS right now and get inside of this beautiful red car, which is very nice for thumbnails as well. Maybe, maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that looks good. Bye. All right, let's explode things. Uh, we got 39 FPS already. I saw it drop to 39. Uh, okay. Oh, that, that's that's the guy, you know. That's a. I think it's an online guy, maybe. Yeah, he's exploding things as well. Look at that. Holy crap. Okay then. Well, did not hurt. Uh, that's sec like allies. All right. Oh, oh, maybe it's not online play. I don't know, guys. He left the session, so it's definitely online play. Anyways, my friends. <laughs> Uh, police are after me right now, which is not good at all, but uh, it's it's running well, so that's very, very perfect, you know, it's very good. I, I think I just escaped the police, guys. I have no idea why. I'm just driving through a straight line here, doing the benchmark run, but they, I, I guess the police are really bad, maybe. I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let's just, uh, yeah, let's go back. I want to explode this. Yes, that's right. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, you can expect a few drops into the 30s, which is not bad at all. Again, this game is completely playable with, like, 30 plus FPS, I would say. If you are into that, you know, if you want a little bit more visual fidelity. Yeah, very high settings. It really does look good, as you can probably tell. Um, Alright, explode that. It's still a smooth experience as well. It doesn't stutter whatsoever. This is great, guys. We're here, guys. Ultra settings. Uh, yep, yeah, you can see right there. Just gonna disable this. And uh, 2565, 1440. So, look at the lens flares. They look pretty decent. Not as good as Horizon Zero Dawn's, you know, because that's just the absolute most amazing lens flares that I've ever seen in my life. It looks a little bit better than very high, not gonna lie, but I would still play on very high because this is way too close to 30 FPS, especially inside of explosions. Uh, it's, yeah, it does drop into the low 30s, so not the best thing, you know, I would avoid this experience, but if you want to lock your frames to like 30 FPS and play at 1440p with a controller, for example, it might be actually very doable. I don't know, it might drop from 30 FPS a few times here and there because I believe this is probably not the most demanding area to test this game at. I'm just testing it right here because I feel like, like it's demanding, but I don't know, I've, I've not been to the entire map yet, of course. Still, I do think this is a good benchmark, that's why I do it right here with the explosions and stuff, and even with the explosions, it didn't drop from 30, so I am impressed with that. I certainly did expect uh, lower than 30 FPS experience here here at the ultra settings if you want to play like this my friends feel free to do so um, oh boy it's dropping into the 30s right there it didn't it still didn't drop from 30 maybe just overclock your gpu a little bit and it's gonna be even better you know so yeah all right everything's fine right now we did it we managed to get 30 plus fps on average and 31 percent low so that is extremely good for ultra settings at 1440p remember that this game was really demanding when it came out thank you very much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll hope Hopefully see you in the next one. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.